This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen History is Made at Night, a romantic comedy drama from director Frank Borzage made back in 1937. It follows a woman named Irene, the wife of a ship magnate named Bruce, who is obsessively paranoid that she is having affairs. She files for divorce, but Bruce tries to set her up to be found in another man's arms, preventing it. This plan is interrupted when a stranger enters her room and knocks out the attacker. And when Bruce enters, the man pretends to be a thief and whisks away Irene, as well as some jewels. But in the taxi, the man reveals himself as a head waiter named Paul and returns the jewels and invites her to dinner during which they end up falling in love. Bruce, however, sets up Paul as a murderer and uses this to force Irene to return to him. Aware that something is wrong, Paul follows after Irene, and from there it's a game of cat and mouse and an enduring war in the name of love. The story manages to balance the three characters very well. Though more attention is given to Paul and Irene as their relationship grows further and further, with a greater focus on their happiness together and how much each person means to the other. Meanwhile, Bruce's own descent into jealousy is portrayed with a fine amount of development as well, though perhaps with a rather extreme pacing that pushes him to take drastic measures. Both sides of the story are where the comedy and drama elements take their individual stands, with Paul and his restaurant work being loaded with lighthearted moments and a great amount of fun, and Bruce's scenes raising the stakes against Paul, Irene, and the future of the three. It's a conflict that eventually culminates in events that threaten the safety of more people beyond the relationship, though to say anything more would probably be a spoiler. Anyways, History is Made at Night hits the usual standards of a 30s film when it comes to technical aspects. Cinematography does offer a few good highlights, especially when it comes to wider shots that show the characters in contrast to their surroundings. Most of all, larger cityscapes that imply the distance between Paul and Irene. There's also a nice attention to movement and flow within scenes and in editing that make events clear regardless of a scene's pacing, as well as some staging and framing that further give the film image and its characters an additional visual artistry. Some good sound design is also put to use in a few places, such as music in the aforementioned dinner scene, which maintains a constant presence that continues even after the dinner ends reflective of the character's happiness lasting well into the morning. Overall, while it's nothing too special, the movie does offer more than a bare minimum in its visual elements, and a lot more in its actual story, and most of all, within its characters. Despite the obstacles set against Paul and Irene, it's their love for each other that keeps them powering through everything put in their way. History is Made at Night, Frank Borzage, 1937, four and a half stars. I'd definitely say it's worth seeing. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I'd say that this movie made me hungry for lobster but I want to know how cheap lobster used to be, that you could just go to any old restaurant and order it up on a whim. Maybe it depends on the city.